Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 30th of 2023 well, it is titled NGC 4372 and the Dark Doodad. So what do we see here? Well, toward the center, we do see a cluster of stars, and that is known as NGC 4372. And it is an example of a globular cluster, which are uh, clusters of stars that are very old and roam the galaxy out in the outer halo around the outer regions of our galaxy, giving us a peek into what our galaxy might have been like billions of years ago. Our galaxy is currently flattened, but the globular clusters, which are among the oldest parts of the galaxy, form a spherical distribution, telling us that our galaxy was probably more spherical in the distant past. Now we also see near this what is known as the Dark Doodad Nebula, which is the dark nebula stretching around and kind of wrapping up over the top of the globular star cluster. This is an example of a dark nebula and is actually part of a molecular cloud. And these are regions where stars are currently forming. So while we see stars all over the frames here, but none behind the dark doodad, there actually are plenty of stars there. They are simply being blocked out by the dust within this dark nebula. We cannot see through it. There is simply enough particles there so that no matter where where you look through the nebula, your line of sight eventually intersects a dust, small dust particle. So even though it may spread over light years, it is it cannot be seen through. It becomes opaque, like trying to look through a wall and not being able to see through it. Now the globular cluster, of course, is just located in the same general direction in the sky. So the uh, globular star cluster about 20,000 light years away. Whereas the doodad is much closer. It's actually only about 700 light years away. So again, we lose that three dimensional aspect when we look out at the sky. And that goes back to the idea that we've had of a celestial sphere where all of the objects are attached to a great celestial sphere orbiting the Earth. And that is how we see things here from Earth because we don't get that third dimension. It's hard to see that something is so many times further away when we see objects very close together on the sky because we have no sense of perspective as to how large any of these objects actually are. But here we see objects at vastly different distances, not only the globular star cluster way off in the distance and the dark doodad much closer, but many stars that could be also at intermediate distances between those two. So that was our picture of the day for March 30th of 2023. It was titled NGC 4372 and the dark doodad. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be tantalizing Titan. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.